Continuing our examination of my favorite character, Telamon of Arcadia, the solitary mercenary of the ancient world that I see as kind of a, a stand-in, not only for myself and for the issues that torment me in the modern world, but also for most of us who are on one side or another of, of the warrior archetype. The thing about Telamon is that he is the supreme example of the warrior archetype in that he is kind of an unbeatable warrior. He has got his skills down to the max. He's kind of a character that's sort of like him is the Clint Eastwood character of the man with no name in those uh, great spaghetti westerns, or the character in Seven Samurai of Kyuzo, the samurai who fights only for the fight itself. And Telamon is one of the, has, has evolved to sort of the limits of the warrior archetype without going beyond it. He has, uh, he no longer believes in any of the ideals of glory or conquest. Oh, the other aspect I keep forgetting about him is that he doesn't die, he can't die. He keeps appearing in century after century. So that this, this fuels his attitude of his dark, detached attitude in the sense of how many commanders has he believed in only to find that their, their ambitions were just vain or vainglorious? How many causes has he fought for to find in the end that they're false? How many flags has he fought under? So he has sort of boiled the warrior archetype down to one element and that is the element of strife. And when you ask him what god he serves or goddess, he talks of the Greek goddess Eris, E-R-I-S, the goddess of strife. And the quote that he says is, all things are born in strife, even the earth itself, and all things expire in strife. So Telamon, as I say, is post-Spartan, post-Athenian, post-Alexandrian, post-Roman, post-everything. His long experience of war has boiled, has boiled his philosophy down to that one thing, that strife is the only constant. Nothing changes. No war that's won changes the way the world is. No war that's lost changes the way the world is. The only constant is strife, and he sees himself as a servant of strife. And his, his worldview is really dark in, and hardcore in the extreme. He says, this life is the only one that exists, learn its laws and obey them. This is true philosophy. This is Telemann's point of view. Now, do I believe in that? Is that my philosophy? The answer is no, but I can certainly relate to how Telemann got to that place. And one of the reasons I'm fascinated by him as a character is I know that he's gonna move beyond this hardcore version of the warrior archetype, and I can't wait to see where that takes him. Mm -hmm.